All right, so we have our source file right here. And it's just it's in the layers. There it is. Uh, first thing I like to do is just make a copy of the source file uh, and save it and lock it there. So now we have this. Um, first thing to do is let's throw a filter on it and stylize oil paint. Uh, this is just going to minimize the amount of points a little bit, smooth it out a little bit. You'll see. Let's go from there. <clears throat> and now it's smoothed it out a little bit. Um, let's give it a little soft look. Now let's take it and make an adjustment and go to posturize. And we're only going to do two colors because that actually winds up with more than two colors. As you can see, we've got some blues, we've got some whites, yellows, oranges, and blacks. Uh, so just say, okay. Now we don't want this stuff around it. So we're just gonna do a quick cut out. And let's use the lasso tool. And we're not trying to be perfect. We're just trying to get the sort of artifacts uh, from the background out of the way. Um, and now, selections made, control X, and then control V, paste. Let's just get rid of the background leftover. Delete layer one, yes. Now there's just pretty much solid black uh, around the bear, a couple little points, but that'll translate fine. So let's get on the right level, and we're gonna select all that black and let's cut it out control x and now um, we have the bear with just four colors now let's do the white layer first select that and then we do select all or similar and now all of the whites have been selected right click make work path okay down here we select solid color and white okay let's label that now the whites are just solid white but we're going to want that to be outlined so now we're going to take this we're going to go into work path mode and we're going to create set the stroke the path at black and let's go two pixels because it's mostly the outside uh, frame, etc. So we're gonna set two pixels and go back to. And now we have the bare outline. If we want to just take a quick look to see what that looks like, right? Those are all our whites. Now let's go back to Mr. Bear, and we're now going to select all of the blacks. And if we just hide Mr. Bear, we now have it as a totally vectorized image from a raster image from a photograph. So let's just group that, that, and let's call this Vector Bear. There. Now it's cool if we go to the layer Go to select, say group. I can now scale this guy up and down as needed. So that's how you create a vector image from a rasterized or flat image or a photograph. So, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Be sure to like and subscribe. My name is Mike with Sarah.biz.